Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's session of the Level Up Small Business Program. We are excited to have you guys here tonight. We are excited for a number of different reasons. One, um, it's Monday night and it is finally not raining. So that is very exciting. Yes, we had rain earlier, but it seemed like every Monday night we had rain. So we are excited. But we are mostly excited because we have an amazing group of entrepreneurs here tonight that are going to share with you more information about their business and they're gonna share a little bit about their participation in this program. We have invited you guys to be a part of it. We have this streaming on our Facebook channel, LinkedIn, as well as YouTube. So you are able to re-look at the video to stay connected and continue to learn about these amazing entrepreneurs. Not only that, we have a very special guest with us tonight, Miss Adrienne Bolden, who is joining us all the way from Miami with her company, Leverage Miami, as our guest speaker for tonight. So we have all types of awesomeness happening on our call tonight. Well, we want to also thank you all for being here with us. My name is Darlisa Diltz. I am the Managing Director and owner of the North Texas Entrepreneur Education and Training Center, where our focus is to be the community triage for entrepreneurs. And what does that mean? That means that we want to be a starting point for those that are interested in learning about entrepreneurship and don't really know all of the steps that they need to take. Um, so we're like a safe haven for entrepreneurs to come learn and grow their business. Uh, we are excited to have this partnership with Center for Transforming Lives and the opportunity to be able to connect and nurture and grow and, you know, be able to pour into the lives of entrepreneurs of all walks. So welcome to tonight's session. We do hope that you leave the call inspired because every single week that we gather, I am inspired learning and understanding and hearing about these awesome entrepreneurs and what they have done within their business. So without further ado, what I would like to do is open up the floor for Center for Transforming Lives to share a little bit of information about them and their program, and then we will move further into the night. So I'll kick it over to you, Ocelia. All right. Thank you, Darlisa. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Ocelia Gibson-Sprout, and I am the Micro Enterprise Program Coordinator for the Center for Transforming Lives. Uh, this program, the culmination of this cohort that you are witnessing tonight, is a part of a grant opportunity um, from the cities of Fort Worth and Arlington. Um, so the vision behind our program, Level Up Small Business Development Program, is to help entrepreneurs to either develop or scale their existing businesses here in Tarrant County. Uh, so we are thrilled to welcome our third, this is our third cohort um, <laughs> for this uh, year of the grant term. And so we are thrilled to introduce uh, I believe it's nine entrepreneurs tonight that are going to present about their businesses. They have gone through six weeks of learning labs, they've gone through orientation, and they are probably filled to their eyeballs of business terminology and examining the back ends of their business. Uh, but we hope to uh, share with everyone the great work that they have been doing in strengthening their businesses and the infrastructure of their businesses through this program. So I would just like to... Uh, are we doing introductions, Darlisa? Yes, but not, okay. uh, not quite yet. <laughs> yes, we can. You can kick it to introductions. Okay, okay. I'll go ahead. I didn't want to go ahead and introduce anyone if we weren't doing um, introductions yet. But uh, yes, yeah, so everyone just welcome. We thank you for being here. Welcome. And I will go ahead and pass to Charlotte Navarro um, so she can introduce herself. Good evening. So my name is Charlotte Navarro and I'm the Economic Mobility Services Manager with Center for Transforming Lives. And, um, you know, I've been he hearing about all of your progress through this program from Ocelia. So I am ex so excited to hear all of your business pitches tonight. And I will pass it on to Patrina. 
Good evening, everyone. I am Patrina Bonnick Higgins, and I'm the new career coach for Center for Transforming Lives. And I am so excited to hear about all of your great pitches. Thank you. Thank you, Katrina. Um, do we have, how about you, Lizzie? Hi, I'm Leslie Oliver, Chief Land Fee Officer. I'm glad to be here. I'm so excited to hear from everyone. I hope I can make it through the whole night. Um, so if I drop off, don't be mad. Good luck and God bless. Thank you. And Ms. Tyler. Hello, everyone. I am the Donor Relations Manager with Center for Transforming Lives. And like everybody else, I'm so excited to hear your pitches. Um, Y'all put in so much time and hard work and um, just excited to celebrate the culmination of that with you. So just gonna start it off with a little bit of applause to everybody who's on this call. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. And I do see a few other um, faces. So to our guests, if you want to um, introduce yourself, um, feel free to come off of mute and introduce yourself. Okay, I guess I can go. I'm Dolores Sissy Green. I'm the Chief Program Officer for the Center for Transforming Lives. And I also look forward to hearing all these great pitches that I'm sure will be fabulous. Awesome. Hi, my name is Tiva Pegues. I am the um, Economic Mobility Program Coordinator for Center for Transforming Lives. I look forward to hearing you all. And I see Miss Lisa Thompson, I've known her for years. I danced at her studio and my daughter does too. So I'm excited to hear everyone's pitch. Good luck, everyone. Thank you all so much. Um, it looks like we have a Malik. Um, if, he, if you wanna introduce yourself, go for it. If not, we understand. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Go ahead, yep, Mr. Malik. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Malik Jackson. I'm the husband of Shay Jackson, who will be presenting tonight. It's my honor to be able to uh, join you all tonight. Uh, best wishes to all, and I love you, honey. Oh, we even heard about you, Mr. Fine Husband. Oh, she talks about you. So thank you for joining the call tonight. We have heard about you, Mr. Husband. <laughs> my pleasure, thank you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Um, well, thank you all so much for, again, being here with us tonight. Thank you guys for, for joining in on our social platforms. Um, we are excited to be here. This always brings me so much joy. And it also makes me sad a little bit too, because that means I don't get to hang out with you guys every week. But you all know that you are always welcome. And I do hope that you will um, interact with the North Texas Entrepreneur Education and Training Center at um, any point in the process. So what we're going to do now, I will not continue to talk longer because we have an amazing speaker for you guys tonight. Um, I would like for briefly, um, even though you guys are going to give your full introductions um, in during your presentations, but if you guys could just go through, say your name, say your business, and um, that will let everyone else on the call know who you guys are before we get started. So I'm gonna start it off with who's first on my screen, and then you know how we roll, pick a person until we get to the end. So I'm gonna start with Miss Shay Jackson. Hi, my name is Shay Jackson with Helping Young People Excel in Math, LLC. Great to be here tonight. I will kick it over to Ms. Comfort. Hello, everyone. I am Comfort Morris, and I am my company is Comfort Cooks Catering, LLC. And I'm going to kick it over to Michael. You're on mute, Michael. Okay, thank you, Comfort. My name is Michael Williams. I'm with Before and After Personal Training, and I'm gonna kick it over to Ms. Thompson. 
Thank you, Michael. I'm Lisa Thompson with Step by Step Dance Studio, and I'm excited to be here tonight. It's good to see everyone. I see a few familiar faces, and that's very comforting. So I will uh, give it over to Shay. Probably the second Shay, which is Diz. Diz. Hi guys, it's Des with Serenity Massage and I am excited about this evening and I'm nervous, but um, it's a pleasure to be here and I'm happy to see what is going to take place when we do these presentations. And I'll kick it off to uh, Miss Jennifer. Hi. My name is Jennifer Haney. I have Shut Up and Laugh Publishing. Um, and hi, it goes to uh, Victoria now. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Um, my name is Victoria Robinson, and my business name is VXQ. It's a women's line of clothing, and I'm excited about tonight. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. So thank you so much for those introductions. We Kat, do have people Kat on our. Kat did not go. Oh, Kat did not go. Oh, I'll pass it to Marquette. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Hi, I am Marquette Miller with Umbrella Lux Salon and Extension Bar. And again, I, unlike just like everyone else, I'm very excited about tonight, and I'm glad to see everyone. And sad to know that we're not going to meet again, but let's get it going. All right, did we miss anyone? I'm so sorry. All right, let's get this party started. So we do have people on our Facebook page that are saying hi, hey, hello to you guys. If you guys want to uh, respond, you could follow the North Texas Entrepreneur Education and Training Center and you can see or share the link for people to join in um, if they haven't joined or don't have the Zoom link. Okay. So without further ado, what I would like to do at this point in time is I am going to share my stage with a longtime family, friend. Um, we share information. She's told me some things about the marketing industry. Uh, I mean, she's just like a dope individual. I won't let I won't steal her shine. I'll let her introduce herself, but I am so pleased to have her as our speaker for tonight. Um, she is doing some amazing things in the entrepreneur community in Miami that she will tell you all about. But I want to welcome to the platform Miss Adrienne Bolden who is going to provide you guys with some encouraging words as we set you free on your entrepreneur journey. So Miss Adrienne, the floor is yours. Hello everyone, congratulations for making it to this point. I am Adrienne Bolden. I am the CEO of Leverage Miami. As Darlisa said, thank you so much for um, having me here to speak to these amazing entrepreneurs. So, the way I normally start things is that I always like to do an icebreaker. And I know you all are nervous and you wanna kind of like feel normal. So we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna give you two truths and a lie. You have to figure out which one is a lie. So the first possible truth is that I led a company from $1.8 million to $4.3 million in eight months. The second possible truth is that I managed the Chanel Boutique and Gucci Boutique for Nordstrom. The third possible truth is that I am a communications professor. In the chat box, you can decide which one you think is the truth and, or which ones you think is a lie, the better option. So put in the lie, option one, that I took a company from $1.8 million to $4.3 million. Option two, that I managed the Chanel Boutique and Gucci Boutique for Nordstrom, or option three, that I'm a communications professor, which whatever one that you think is the false one below. Okay, option two. Okay, most people, <laughs> I like this, sorry. They're all true. Oh. So. 
<laughs> I am very happy to speak with you all. I do have proof in the pudding, but it's really not about me. It's not, the pe it's not about the people who are here on the call. It's really about you. So I'm here to speak to you and tell you how you, <laughs> that's not fair. It is fair. <laughs> So um, congratulations again on your choices that have brought you to this point. Um, I promise this will not be another how to do it all. This will be why you do it all, okay? So I encourage you to consider choosing these three points that I'll share with you now. Choose harmony. Most things in our life are based on harmony. The music that we enjoy is harmony of instruments and sound. Our favorite meals are harmonies of spices and meats. Choose harmony in your life. This goal of you becoming an entrepreneur allows you the opportunity to create harmony in your life. There's no more asking so-and-so for the opportunity to go see your child graduate or asking for the option to take a few days off and see the world. You can do that now. Second, Prioritize self-care. This is about you putting your oxygen mask on first. This is not a zero sum game. There's room for everyone to be successful. Even if you are in the same field, I heard people say they were in education, hospitality, health, entertainment and retail. And some of you are in the same spaces, but there's room for everyone. So prioritize your self-care. In the wake of the pandemic and also so many racial issues, we have to be cognizant that we put ourselves first. So I know you're going to be an entrepreneur or you are an entrepreneur, you're going to be running, trying to make this happen, but don't forget about taking care of yourself. You can't keep the business going. You can't reach the heights that you are possible to reach without taking care of yourself. The next thing that entrepreneurship allows you is to be fulfilled. I am a young 38 and I am super fulfilled. You know, I get to do any and everything that I wanna do in terms of life. So this is not success. Success is different. Success is based on what you can almost achieve, but fulfillment is how you feel. It's about what makes you happy, what makes you keep getting up every day. There is guaranteed to be failure in entrepreneurship. When I was taking the company from $1.8 million to $4.3 million, we failed several days. Several days, we didn't make anything, but you can't stop there. This opportunity will give you, this entrepreneurship will give you the opportunity to be fulfilled. See, people who do it all the time mess up too. So maybe this is good for you all. You see a professional messing up. <laughs> all right, so ways to achieve this. You have to continue to run with your eyes, with your ideas and try new things. There are a ton of companies and you have exactly what someone else is looking for. I understand there's Shea Moisture, there is Main Choice, there is Malay Organics, but if you have a hair company, then someone's gonna want that. If you can believe in yourself long enough, you will achieve anything that you put your mind to. I have achieved success in a city that I'm not even from. I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee, and I had never been to Miami before I arrived here. I didn't know anyone. None of my family lives here. No one has assisted me. This is just me on my own. So if I can do it in a big city like Miami, you definitely can do it wherever you are. Thank you for your time and have a great night. Oh, thank you so much, Adrian, for those encouraging words. I like that word, harmony, um, because you can use harmony in so many ways. Um, you mentioned it in food and everyone on the call knows I'm always talking about food is bad, but um, I like that. And thank you for sharing those nuggets of wisdom. Um, entrepreneurship is your own unique opportunities. So thank you for reiterating that to the group. Um, don't forget, Adrian, put your information in the chat. Um, if you guys would like to connect with Adrian further, she is on LinkedIn. 
Um, check out her website, Leverage Miami. I'm sure she would love to connect. If you are ever in Miami, look her up, connect with her. I'm sure she would love to, um, you know, see some faces and visitors. So thank you so much again, Adrian, for that awesome word of encouragement. All right, now is the moment we have all been waiting for. So it is time to hear from these awesome entrepreneurs. So each entrepreneur is given 10 minutes, well, seven minutes of presentation time, three minutes of Q&A. My charge to you guys as the audience is to think of challenging questions to ask them about their business, um, engage with them. Um, they get three minutes for community Q&A. So we're asking that you guys would jump in there and ask some questions about their business. I will also be funneling questions from the social sites. So I will make sure you guys get them as well. So without further ado, we are going to get started with our first presenter. And we have Miss Victoria Robinson who will present first and you are able to share your screen and we will start the timer once you are ready to roll. Let's give Victoria a hand, everyone. Hi, I'm so nervous. <laughs> got this, you got um, but this. I'm so excited. Let me go ahead and get my screen going. Okay, so my name is Victoria uh, with, with VXQ. VXQ stands for Victoria X Queen. It's a brand that I've been building for about, for a while. Um, it's a brand I've been building probably for about four years. Um, um, the brand is an embodiment of my style, my personality, and um, an accumulation of a lot of, um, my morals and things that I believe in that um, I'm kind of capsulizing in this brand. Um, my motto um, as reflected here is she's watching, show her what she's worth. Um, that motto just kind of speaks to, um, speaks to um, kind of what, where the heart of my brand is and what it's about. Um, there are plenty of brands. I was asked a question in one of my business coach uh, coachings as to what, what is it, what problem are you solving? Um, and that was a very difficult question for me um, to answer as a clothing um, brand, a clothing line. Um, and I could think nothing other than the heart of the business is what is the thing that separates me from other businesses. I really wanna carry a, a brand um, that really, um, um, kind of um, speaks purpose into the lives of younger girls and um, target audience would be about, you know, uh, younger girls about 18 up to maybe 25, um, just the, the youth girls kind of showing them their work. So that's kind of where the motto comes from. Um, so that's who I am. Again, my business is clothing. Um, the aspiration is to create a, a clothing line um, of unique pieces, custom pieces, um, and uh, let's move to the next slide. Um, so my inspiration here, um, when I was younger, like in middle school, um, I was raised by my mom. She was a single mother. Um, well, she wasn't a single mother. She was raised by my stepdad, but my stepdad was kind of a little more separate from, you know, he wasn't really involved. So um, my inspiration came from, I couldn't afford to dress like the popular kids in school. So I started my own trends. Um, what I would do, um, I would find pieces and I would add, or I would take jeans and I would add like pieces of jewelry and I would attach it to jeans and I would make little styles like that. I would take my earrings and pull them apart and, and add different pieces together. Um, so that kind of is what inspired me there. Another thing that's kind of a, a motto or a thing that kind of is an inspiration for me is, is that I've always loved clothing. And then I've always loved how I feel when I put on an outfit or I put something on and, and the feeling that I get when I, when, when I put something together. I always knew how to put something together well. Um, 
And um, so it's, it, it kind of just built me into the woman that I am today. Um, in college, um, I did go uh, for fashion and merchandising. And um, I was able to, to see a lot more of what goes into, you know, finding where it is that I want to be, uh, what I want to do with the brand. I was learning textiles, um, how to set up a boutique. And that's kind of where it landed me today, which is um, wanting to achieve in the long term goal of having a boutique of my own. Um, as well as having my brand in line available in um, retail stores, um, such as Nordstrom, such as Target, um, available on Amazon. Um, so let's move along to the next slide. Um, so this is kind of a GPS map. Um, um, so that's kind of why I started my business. How I operate my business um, currently, um, this is kind of the GPS map. We did do this um, in our cohort. Um, and this kind of really helped me figure out kind of where I want to start and kind of where I want to go. So right now I'm online. Um, I'm going to play my, uh, um, a, a screen recording of my website, of a sample of my website. So you can kind of get an idea of, of what I've created and I created this website by myself. Uh, these are sample stock pieces. Um, I do not currently have inventory on hand, but these are kind of the items and the trends and the styles that I kind of want to bring, that I kind of want the brand to kind of look like. Um, so I'll play that while I speak um, and you can look at that. But um, so how I started here, I'm going to start online. Um, so I want my brand to, to be online and accessible online and be, be able to ship out to people and things like that. Um, also, and, and I want to launch in fall 2021, or my goal is to launch fall 2021 of this year. Um, I plan to do that by going to trade shows. Um, there's a Las Vegas trade show that's coming up here in the fall. Um, I'm probably going to go out to that and probably get some inventory there. Um, and then there's also a Macy's workshop that I plan to um, apply to and, and get into as well to kind of help me get established and on the route to the boutique road. So that's kind of fall 2021. That's what I kind of wanted to look like. Um, I also have, excuse me for not having the page open. Um, I want to start off with maybe four pieces, um, top, bottom, um, shoes, and I believe I wanted to do like a coat. Hold on, make sure I'm saying it right. Yeah, so I don't want to waste your time, but. Um, I want to start off with um, a select few pieces, kind of like what I have going on on the website here. You see handbags, you see shoes, you see dresses, you see select pieces, earrings, um, just certain things that I feel have that kind of um, essence that I'm looking for for my brand. Uh, and I'm going to outsource those via the trade shows. Um, and then as I move along in the winter, I want to start introducing luxury pieces. And these will be custom pieces that I will myself create for the brand and launch in the brand. And I want to do that in my winter. Um, and then in spring 2022, 20, that's when I want to be able to be in a position to uh, have a stationary boutique. And I want to be able to be in the position to have my brand in at least two retail stores. Um, so... I guess that's kind of um, my presentation there. Um, I can say what I've gained out of this cohort thus far is, um, is, is the finding my niche, finding a target audience that's honestly still something that I'm kind of trying to fine tune uh, for my brand. Um, I've also learned about like my cash flow and learning how to uh, budget for the business. Um, taking into account what um, what is going to what's the startup cost going to um, be for inventory, um, um, other things that that I would need in order to run the business, um, when I need to restock it if I'm going to need to have a designer, how much I'm going to have to set aside for budgeting in that, and I actually was able to work with someone and kind of work those numbers through, so I kind of am able to visibly see how that looks. 
Um, we also talked about different um, times in the year where the business will be peaking versus where the business may not be as um, may not be booming as much as other months. So it kind of gave me a realistic view of, you know, what to expect um, in opening the brand. Um, and I feel a lot more closer to, um, to opening this business thanks to this cohort. So um, that, that's where I'm going to leave it at. If anyone has any questions for me, I open the floor to you, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much, Victoria, for the presentation. So let's all give Victoria a round of applause. And thank you for your bravery for coming on and sharing with us your business vision um, for what you will be doing with VXQ. So let's open up the floor. What questions do you have for Victoria and her business? Don't be shy, don't be shy. Okay, I have a question that came in on Facebook. And the question on Facebook says, what style of clothing will you offer? Um, so the style of clothing is more, it's gonna be women clothing. I'll have, um, I'll have athleisure wear. Um, so I'll have athletic tops and bottoms. Um, I'll have shoes for every season. Um, so with your athletic wear, I'll, I'm going to design some shoes for the athletic line. Um, and then for the women's side sandals, um, heels, some nice cute little heels, just something ladylike stuff. Um, the things that you've seen in the slide, if y'all are watching on Facebook, um, the, the previous slide that I showed with the preview of the site, those are actual items that um, that I sampled that that I that I that are good um, um, examples of what what will be available in the store. So like the sandals, the summer sandals, um, modern, trendy, um, but still very, you know, unique at the same time. Awesome. I have one more question. If no one, uh, come on guys, you got to get some questions going, but I do have another question. The question asks, will you offer items for plus size women? Yes. Yes, I do intend to add items for plus size. Awesome. Thank you so much, Victoria. Let's give Victoria another round. Can I ask them a question? The people that asked about the plus size, what would they like to see in plus size? Are they talking about dresses, shirts, pants? What is it in plus size that they would like to see from the brand? All right. So you guys heard her in social media world. What types of items would you like to see in the plus size brand? So put your answer on the feed and I will make sure that Victoria gets that response and Victoria um, you can just refer or respond back to me and I'll put it in social land. Thank you. But please make sure you put your um we have one question where does Victoria plan to promote sorry it closed off where does Victoria plan to promote her brand and our product? Um, so definitely on social world. <laughs> so that's your YouTube ads, your Facebook ads. Um, I also uh, would like to get with a, a, an advertising specialist um, to, to work out a plan as far as to see what the best way to, 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 to work a plan out as far as how to get that out in the malls and things like that. But again, I'm, I'm looking to get into the Macy's workshop. So um, I'll probably learn a lot from there as far as how to do that, but um, definitely on your YouTube ads, on your Facebook blasts, um, for sure, um, starting out. Awesome. And one other question, and this will be our final question. Um, and the question is, is your official launch date spring 2022 with the four items premiered? My official launch date is fall 2021. So this year, around September, you can expect for the site to be up. The sample site that I, the, the website will be just for everyone to have it is going to be shopvxqonline.com. Awesome. And don't forget, you have a marketing expert on the line with you. Okay. Adrian Bolden may can offer some tidbits there. She's pretty fashionable if you know you ask me. 
Um, so maybe she can offer some words of wisdom there. Um, so thank you once again, Victoria. Thank you, um, Social Media World, for your questions. We are going to move on to our next awesome presenter. We have Miss Comfort Morris, who is going to share with us her business. Comfort, the floor is yours. All righty. Hello, everyone. Um, can you see it? Can you see my slides? Or yes, but you want to put it in presentation mode. Okay, and that is, is um, this it? Go at the bottom of your screen in a thing that looks like a little podium over a little over, over. Yep, right there. Okay. So hi everyone, I am Comfort Morris with Comfort Cooks Catering LLC. Um, it is a catering company that we provide uh, meal preps, date nights, and charcuterie boards to our clients. We, I have been in business full-time for two years now, but I have been um, cooking and catering for over seven years now. I decided to go full-time when my company went out of business, which was Pier 1. I worked in their human resources department and we are completely shut down at this point. So I just decided to go full-time on my business. And, oh, okay. Sorry, you guys are where my stuff is. Okay, there it is. Okay, so um, what our business is, what we do and the gap that we fill Okay, um, catering company service, um, we service couples who don't have the time to create experiences through date night or connecting over a meal. Um, that's one of our displays that we did um, last year about December, let's see. And also catering, we provide catering, whether it's a small family of two or a big event as big as 200 people. Let's see. And we provide meal prep services. You can do um, either like weekly to sign up with us, or you can also just do as you go. Um, our meal preps are done on Sundays and you pick up. Um, we have a time and a location that we send out to our clients and we have our boards. Um, this is something that you can order whenever there is no um, limit or time frame whenever you tell us you want it we create a board for you that would have everything that you love um, whether it's your cheese your crackers wine fruits um anything that you would like to go in there we provide that and so what we do is we ease the stress levels of family by providing catering so um they can just enjoy each other's time when they get together Let's see why we started our business and why our business is important. Um, we started our business to pursue my passion. I am the face, the creator, the cook. Um, <laughs> my husband definitely helps me with um, setup and kind of keeping me on track. Um, I love the, oh, no. Okay. I love the flexibility to work my own hours. And we do fill in the gap of connecting families. Our business is important because it brings families together. We set, what sets us apart from the competitor is that we are a full event planning company. So that means that if you give me a call and you're like, oh, I have my daughter's birthday coming up. I kind of don't know what to do. Can you help with like either balloon garland? Can you help with food? Can you help with trying to get either, um, other people to kind of help and be part of the celebration. So we'll reach out to other companies um, to kind of help partner with them to bring your vision to light. Yeah, decorations, catering, event, the whole nine. And how we operate our business and how our clients reach us and how we make our money is like I stated, as a husband and wife company, um, I mainly focus on the chef portion of the business and my husband helps with bringing ideas to life by executing my designs. Our clients reach us by our website, um, which is comfortcookscatering.com um, or social media. And I'll provide my social media later on. 
Um, most of our clientele do come from well, word of mouth and social media. Those are the two biggest one. And we make our money based of services we provide. What I have gained from the Level Up Small Business Program is understanding who my target market is and just understanding that um, just because I provide catering, it's not for everyone. Um, so just understanding that who will um, be able to either afford or who to target. Um, learning who my ideal customer is how to create a business plan, and also how to do a SWOT analysis on a competitor, which was really great. Because being on social media, you do see that a lot of people are providing the same thing that you do. There, I don't think there is one company or one um, thing that is just like, oh, only this person does it. Um, being on social media, I have came across so many chefs um, who do exactly what I do. So just kind of doing an analysis on them. It was really interesting for me to do. And I would say connecting with great people. Um, Darlisa and Ocelia have been really great. And I have to give a shout out to my friend who's on here, Charlotte. Um, we went to college together. And she actually just by talking to her kind of helped me to even know about this program. So I definitely do appreciate that. And this is our contact information. Our website is www.comfortcookscatering.com. You have a phone number to reach us. And I'm mostly on Instagram, even though you can find me on Facebook. A lot of my information is not on Facebook. I don't post a lot on there, but I am there. Um, social media is the place to follow me. And yeah, that's it. Have any questions? <laughs> Let's give Comfort a round of applause. Amazing presentation. Thank you, Thank you so <laughs> much for sharing with us. Um, while you guys on Zoom land gather your questions, I do have a question from social media. And the question is, so does your business provide comfort food? Yes, we do. So, <laughs> so we provide um, my my main sellers are definitely Jamaican, which is Caribbean food, African food, and we also definitely Southern. I mean, my number one is brunch. I love brunch. I love fried chicken, grits and shrimp, um, just the whole nine. If you put sugar on your grits, I can't help you. Sorry. I just can't. <laughs> Out. Mm -mm. <laughs> so hey I do both I like the seasoned grits and I am a sugar on my grits kind of person so you know I could go either way I wasn't introduced to seasoned grits until I moved to Texas but okay um, they are good thank you for that comfort I do have another question what has been the largest audience that you have catered for 200 people <laughs> and I, I believe you did mention that in your presentation oh I got another pop-up so we're gonna come on zoom land uh, put your you can put your questions in the chat or you can pop on but I do have another one how did the pandemic impact your catering business the um pandemic actually boosted my business I would say um it's been non-stop from weekly I mean, I've had times where I literally had to block off a weekend and say no I'm not doing anything and you I just keep getting requests and I'm trying to learn to say no because I know I need the rest um so just it's been really great and I would say what really um helped a lot too is the date nights date nights have been awesome adding that too um because I just added that last year um September my husband and I went on a date night and I just kind of vlogged it, I guess, and put it out there. And I just got hit up a whole lot. So then we added that and started playing in other couples um, date nights. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Um, any questions? So I, uh, it says, do you cater wedding? 
I do. I do weddings. I do small event to big event, intimate, whatever you are wanting. We provide plated, buffet, the whole nine. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I have right. a question. I have a comment. I'm from CTL. This is Katrina. I just want to say your social media looks really good. Thank you. And I saw that you catered for a vlogger on YouTube. I love yes. It. Um, Missy Lynn, Lynn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, um, great. <laughs> yes. And the day night idea that was really good, especially with the pandemic and yeah. everyone staying at home, that was a really good service. To add. Thank That's you. Cool. You're fun stuff, fun stuff. All right, let's give comfort another round of applause so we're going to take a quick pause in our presentations and we are going to open the floor up to miss patrina who has a special announcement that she wants to give to you guys before she has to um, leave us for the evening patrina the floor is yours thank you darlisa i appreciate that um good evening everyone i am just so elated to um just be a part of this being one week, a little over a week at CTL, I'm excited to meet such awe-inspiring entrepreneurs. And with that being said, I wanted to, um, I am part of the Arlington Black Chamber of Commerce. I'm one of the executive board members. And what we are hosting our fifth annual Juneteenth event on June 16th. And I am going to personally, as a co-chair, extend invitation to each of the graduates to attend as my guest the event. So I will get all your information from Darlisa and Ocelia and, um, and get you guys the invite for the event. Thank you. Well, I can only pass it if I get on the invitee list too. I'm just saying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I think I can make that happen, Darlisa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ms. Petrina. Well, that is exciting. I do hope you guys are able to attend. What time is that at, Petrina? Oh, okay. It's at 6 p.m. at the Rangers Center. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Globe Life Field. She was so excited. She froze. Ah, uh, she left us. We'll it's at the the New Rangers um, ballpark. That is where it's located. I don't know the official name, but yes, the new I'm one. Sure, I'm <laughs> sure she'll get the information to me, yes. Ocelia, and we'll make sure. But mark your calendars. She said June 16th, the and 16th I believe she day. said six o'clock. Oh, she's yes. back. I'm sorry. I'm I, I'm having technical issues. Uh, yes. June 16th, 6 p.m. at the Texas Rangers New Globe Life Field. So it's a big deal. Please dress business professional and, um, and just come ready to network. Also, there's going to be a major networking before and afterwards. So it's an opportunity to definitely promote your business. Amazing. Thank you so much for the information. And thank you for joining us tonight, Katrina. We appreciate you being here and for that announcement. Thank All you. right, so we're going to move on to our next uh, presenter, and I have to give a shout out to this young lady, okay? So I am always uh, pushing and trying to encourage um, the entrepreneurs that go through our program to do One Million Cups. One Million Cups is a national platform where every Wednesday morning at nine o'clock, um, small businesses get on and they do a six minute presentation in the presence of their community. So I uh, shared the link as I always do with my cohorts and I had some guests join and, um, you know, check it out. And um, North Tarrant County is a new chapter. It's out at Northeast Tarrant County. And uh, so we're always looking for new presenters and whatnot. And this next presenter, she got on and nervous and all, she was like, I think I can present. And I'm like, I think you can too. And she was like, but you know, we were looking for a presenter for the next week. She said, okay, I think I can do it next week. I, I, I could be the presenter for next week. And she got on there and she 
rocked it. So that goes back to what Adrian mentioned about stepping out there and just doing it. She eliminated fear and she got it done and she killed it. So I am excited to introduce to you guys Miss Shay Jackson um, to share her business story. Thank you, Miss Shay. The floor is yours. All right. Hold on, I'm trying to get it to presenter mode. Oh, there we go. Can everyone hear me? Yes. We, we're good, okay, wonderful. Good evening, my name is Shay Jackson and I am the CEO of Helping Young People Excel in Math. When I was in middle school, three important things happened in my life. Number one, I met one of the most influential teachers of my educational journey. Her name was Miss Buffington. She was my sixth grade math teacher. Number two, when I was in seventh grade, I had a talent unbeknownst to me, um, but my mother saw it. So when she would hear her friends uh, talk about their concerns with their children struggling in math, she said, hey, Shay knows how to do math and my touring business started. Number three, my parents purchased me a Commodore VIC-20 computer. After I graduated from Prairie View a and University with a computer science degree, I had two paths. I was in the IT field and also the educational arena. I taught in K through 12 and also I was an adjunct professor at a local community college in Houston. One of the things that I saw was how much students struggled not only with computational math, but also with math world problems as well. Now, as janky as my first videos looked when I started my YouTube channel in 2013, it did not mirror my heart of wanting to help students build their math skills and also their confidence. In 2017, I officially made Hype Math a business. I continued to make videos. And also I began creating workbooks after receiving permission from the Texas Education Agency to use star release questions. I also authored books that were math based for pre-K students. As most businesses, I was affected by COVID-19. I was ready to present my marketing material because I had won a contract with a school district in the DFW area. However, COVID said, not this year. And what I had to do is just take a step back to see what direction I wanted to take the business in. Being in technology since I was in middle school, the best direction that was easy for me was to make Hype Math an educational technology company. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. Before the pandemic, kids were struggling in math. When you add on the negative effects of COVID-19, at the beginning of 20, the 2020-2021 school year, it is reported that students started approximately 136 to 232 days of learning loss in math. When you add on a typical year with the summer slide, they can lose two months or 60 days of math skills. With an average school year being 175 days, there are students who are a grade and a half to three grades behind in math. So what's the solution? Meeting them where they are. As you know, kids love games. I'm sure when you've been in restaurants or just out, you'll see us a, a kid with a mobile device in their hand playing some type of game we can help them by letting them learn in a familiar environment. Also, they can review and practice math without the fear of failure. They can also improve their math skills and confidence in a fun and engaging way. The market show that this is true, games are in. Prodigy, an educational math company has 50 million users worldwide. Minecraft has 126 million active players and Animal Crossing reports that they have sold 32 million games. The market size, internationally we have 739 million students that are in elementary and middle school. 
it is reported that 87 to 90% of families have access to computers and mobile devices, and 85% of schools in the US are able to provide the same access to students as well. Our competitors are um, companies that have online platforms like Khan Academy, IXL. There are some educational games that boost coding or science. Um, there's some game only and they don't have an educational component like Minecraft and, and Animal Crossing. The only um, company that kind of has an educational game similar to what we have is Prodigy, but they're more on the gamey side. Our products include a math um, mission-based educational game for elementary uh, stu school students, and it is available on the web and also mobile devices as well. The proof of concept is complete. We are ready for uh, beta testing to validate it. We also have a mission-based educational game, which is a continuation of the elementary uh, student version. It is in concept phase. Also, we have an educational game that will be an app focused on elementary students getting good practice on those essential math skills. What is our competitive advantage? Number one, we use a good balance of fun and learning. Also, with our two versions of the game, it is a it's continuous learning from elementary school uh, math concepts to middle school math uh, concepts as well. Also, we have a diverse representation of characters so that characters can choose a, a player that looks like them. Our dream team consists of me, I'm a co-founder, Stephanie Lang, who's on the call tonight, she's a co-founder as well. She is the lead game designer and Stacy Alfred is the curriculum specialist. I've learned so much um, from the Level Up Business Program from um, being able to create a lean business plan for an educational technology company, also being able to see the layers of my target market and finding that bullseye or sweet spot finding my competitive advantage by conducting a SWOT analysis, having amazing support from um, the group and also um, great budding friendships. My name is Shay Jackson with Helping Young People Excel in Math. We use educational gaming to create math rock stars. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shay, Thank for you. an amazing presentation as well. That round of applause there for Shay. Okay, while we get our questions from Zoomland, I'm gonna go to social media. And the first question that came up is, how would we learn more about hype math? Um, actually, um, we are in the process of working with Tech Fort Worth um, because educational gaming is a whole new <laughs> arena for me. And so um, I want to wait because we're in the first phases of understanding the intellectual property before we go ahead and release it to the public. So not yet, it's coming. Awesome. Miss Victoria, do you have a question? When is it coming? My kids need it. <laughs> I wanted to come yesterday. However, I'm okay with delayed gratification. Awesome. Thank you so much. And amazing that you're working with Tech Fort Worth. Um, they really are a great platform. Um, so yeah, great opportunity there. Another question that came from social media land is, how did you come up with the idea to do math as a game? Okay, um, I've been tutoring in math since I was in seventh grade. So it was a natural progression. I had a vision about um, what I would like for it to be. I love fun. Um, Stephanie was a, a, a blessing 
because she was my intern and she really helped me to understand not just the the concept the conceptual part but also the development part as well she's a game de uh, developer she is the lead game designer but she's also a game developer so math of course and i really want to dispel the fear of math and also the dreaded four-letter word of i hate math awesome questions in zoom land questions questions there is a comment that says great job shay we need more women in stem yes ma'am yes ma'am all right, other questions before we keep this train a rolling. So Ms. Leslie says, so polished, Shay, concise, easy to follow and or follow idea and reasoning. Um, who will be your beta testers? Great question. So what we're doing now is understanding um, really for the elementary, the target audience, great question. The target audience is second grade to fifth grade um, because a lot of students struggle with multiplication, division, um, and addition. The key concepts now are focused the first worlds because it's a world type um, game for both of them is to focus on the concepts that are learned in second and third grade. So um, at the One Million Cups, I got a plethora of suggestions. Um, one of the things that I do have to wait on a little bit is because it's the summer, being able to connect with school districts, school boards, and things of that nature in order to be able to um, get beta testers and build that relationship with school districts so that they can test it out. Awesome. So there are some other comments and questions that are coming in the chat, but we are going to keep the party rolling. Okay. Um, and our next presenter. So yes, if you can answer those in chat, that would be great. Our next presenter for the evening is Miss Des McKinney. Des, the floor is yours. All righty, guys, y'all are going to have to bear with me because I prepared to do my presentation with my iPad, but I spilled oil all over it. So I'm doing this from my phone. Okay, let's see. How can I share this content? Okay, I'm having technical difficulties. Does anyone know how to do this from a phone? I personally have not done it from a phone, but um, if you wanna talk us through it, um, that would be awesome as well. Okay, perfect. Well, give me just one second. Everybody's so attentive. <laughs> All righty, guys. So my name is Ladesion Lincoln, and I am the owner of Serenity by Des Massage. Um, I own a local mobile massage business. So my goal right now is so we, we, were, we created Serenity Massage to help our patients who are recovering from major surgery heal naturally and effectively by providing mobile massage. We're able to take the stress off of our patients to find you know, a traditional spa and we're able to travel to them, therefore allowing them to focus more on recovering. Our business was built on professionalism, which includes maintaining the confidentiality of our clients and offering them individual attention. This ensures that our customers and our patients experience are to their preference. Most traditional spas close and remain closed due to COVID-19 and we saw demand for post-off lymphatic massage increase. Due to us being mobile, we were able to travel to our patients 
and they were able to recover with no hassles, you know, due to COVID-19. So when COVID-19 hit, a lot of spas closed down and um, I was plagued with the the question as to what I was gonna do with my business. And honestly, for the first six months, I completely shut down just due to the fear of like, just not knowing about, you know, transporting back and forth and, you know, people, if they're sick, if they're not sick, and then going into people's homes, you know, poses a risk too as well. And with the clients that we do work with, they are considered high risk because they are recovering from, you know, from major procedures. So just until we were able to develop a fail-safe plan to accommodate them, we, uh, we, we were closed. So a little bit about me. In my younger years, I aspired to be a doctor. My goal was to get my DO. My passion has always been health and wellness and holistic health. But the birth of my two children, plus being a single mom, just made attending med school and becoming a doctor unfeasible. So I decided that I could still assist in the medical field, but instead of the immediate and instant care that a doctor or a surgeon gives, I can take care of my patients that you know are in the recovery process. Currently, none of our competitors offer mobile post-op lymphatic massages. Our strategy is to focus on higher price higher prices, more differentiated massages as well. And these services currently are not offered in our local community. So a part of being in the Level Up program, we had to do our SWOT analysis, as well as I had to reach out to local businesses and just see like how their pricing was. And I actually found out that I was undercharging. <laughs> So um, just, just by being in the program, you know, and being pushed to do more research, I found out that, you know, I have a service that is very marketable and that is very profitable. Our sole mission is focusing on our customers. My brief market analysis shows that there is a great need for medical massage in the area of Fort Worth. We have one of the highest growth rates for our target market with patients between the ages of 25 to 75 with average income of at least 100K. The majority of our clients come from repeat business as well as client recommendations. Our goal is to give the kind of service that keeps our patients coming back for regular treatments. We have also developed networks with our with other local health professionals, and they also give recommendations for clients to come see us as well. My team consists of myself, the owner, and then Ms. Calvet Lincoln is our business advisor. Mr. Charles Kazingwa is our consultant. Mr. Alec Moore is our digital illustrator. And Ms. Catherine Lynn Farrell is our admin. Right now, my business is currently in need of resources. We need to hire on personnel. We need space and equipment that um, are required to run a medical massage practice. Our objective is to increase the number of daytime clients by 150% over the next six months. And this also includes an additional 30% through local advertising channels. And that concludes my presentation. And I'd like to open the floor for any Q&A. Let's give Des a round of applause. One question I do have for you, Des, is what did um, you glean from participating in the program? You said, what did I? What did you get from uh, participating in the Level Up program? Honestly, it was so much information. I'm still trying to process and <laughs> adapt and apply everything that I learned. Um, I would say I really just learned how to really run my business. Um, a good mentor of mine told me, she was like, you know, what's the difference between like a bona fide side hustle and being an entrepreneur? And I felt like, okay, like I'm really good at this, but I didn't feel confident like as a business owner. And I've had Serenity Massage for six years. So I wouldn't say that it's a baby, but I still felt like 
it was so much more room for growth. I just needed the right resources and tools and the right village and Level Up gave me that. Awesome. Thank you so much for that presentation. Um, so we do have some questions from Zulin and then I will go to social media. Um, well, there's a comment from Lizzie and it says the technical issue did not affect your presentation. So again, amazing presentation. Um, so there is a question. What did you mean by focus on crisis? And she said great company as well. Focusing on, you said focusing on pricing. Mm -hmm. So like right now, like I said, I'm trying to find a good price point. So because I don't have any other, I guess, businesses locally to base our price point off, that's where I'm having the issue at. So all I was able to really do was call into like traditional spas who do offer, you know, the post-op lymphatic massages but I feel like it's still hard to gauge because it's like we're mobile and, you know, we're traveling. So obviously, you know, we should be charging more. So yes. Awesome. Great question and great answer. Question from social media world is what is your travel distance for your medical massage? So right now we are only servicing Fort Worth and Arlington. Um, that was a decision that was actually just made recently. Before that, I was everywhere. <laughs> I was all over the Metroplex. I was in Dallas. I was in Plano, Frisco, McKinney, Louisville, back to Fort Worth, out to Weatherford. But, you know, just with all of that going on, I was like, you know what, like I want to settle down in one specific area and service those clients. And then like as we grow and expand and I'm able to, you know, hire on and delegate I'll be able to hopefully potentially, you know, expand a business, hire more therapists and have other therapists traveling and servicing other people throughout the Metroplex. Awesome. Any other questions in Zoom land? All right. Thank you so much. Now say your first name for me again, Des. So my first name is Ledesion. Ledesion. So I got used to saying this. So when I saw yes. that, I'm like, yep, I'm not say that. Um, but I didn't want to mess it up. Just being honest. No, thank you. Thank you. Um, but thank you so much again for your presentation. All right. Moving this show right along, we have Miss Jennifer Haney up next. well maybe she's not up next all right so we're gonna bump to miss marquette miller all right let me get it loaded oh, what happened Sorry. I'm sorry. Just, uh -huh. I don't know what happened. Just click it to the first side, Kat, to the first slide, because you're on the last one. Sorry. I had it all queued up and then, <laughs> I'm so sorry. There we go. And this, and these will help. <laughs> all right, I'm starting this over. Hi everyone, love who you are and the world will too. My name is Marquette Miller. I am the owner and CEO of Brella Lux Salon and Extension Bar. And this, I picked this because this is actually the color scheme for my salon. And I wanted to create an inviting, relaxing vibe when you come here to the salon. All right, a little bit about us. We're going to be located, when we currently are located in Arlington, Texas. Um, I focus on cranial prostheses and a wide range of hair, hair extension techniques, trendy hairstyles, styling, makeup. Um, hair, coloring, any, any rod range because we will have also a full range of stylists here in the salon. 
Um, the purpose for our business is to create handcrafted wigs and prosthetics. Um, when I will go in a little deeper about cranial prosthetics because a lot of people are like, what are those? So it's a wide range of services and we'll be all under one umbrella. So for every problem, of course, there is a solution. You just have to find that solution. Um, I've noticed um, in years of working in the hair industry, and I did take a break, so I'm back into it and new. Hence, this is why I'm so grateful for this program, because I'm back into it, and I'm just now getting ready to get started and to launch the brand. So again, for every problem, there is a solution. A lot of women, because of years of the wear and tear and stress, but also medical issues, have plagued us in the hair industry where you know we're losing hair and the popularity of wearing extensions and wigs have left a lot of individuals with hair loss. Um, so for our, the problems, consumers that are faced with um, experiencing hair loss in any fashion or form, maybe for medical uh, reasons, um, normal wear and tear or for products, from products. So the solution that we're going to be offering here at Brella Lux is to offer you a not only a relaxing environment, but in, um, also to give you a non-surgical solution to your hair loss uh, with a wider range of services. And also we're going to offer professional hair care um, products and our uh, Crown Lux hair collection. Oh, I'm sorry. So our value position, uh, the foundation of our business is, is um, our basis of business is the three E's of Brella Lux. Um, and it leaves you confident in the services that you receive, maintaining your style, and also feeling beautiful. The three E's of Brella Lux is empowerment, education, and elevating beauty. When I say empowerment, I want every woman that comes into the salon whether they're sitting in my chair or any of the other stylist chair, to feel empowered. Not only with the vibe that the, the song creates, with the music that that's being played, the words that are spoken, and the things that will not be allowed to be said in the salon. Um, so the environment, I wanna make sure it maintains a inviting, relaxing environment. But not only that, what I've also noticed in the hair industry, uh, and I've asked several women, hey, well, what do you previously um, what other previous services have you received or what's in your hair or what have they couldn't answer that question and say, I don't know, they just sit there. Well, not here, brother Lux. So when you sit in our seats, whether it's me or one of the cells, we will educate you on what products we're using, how we're using those and how do you maintain that at home? I believe that every individual should know what's being applied to them because some things can and cannot mix with certain things that you introduce internally. So you need to be educated on what's being used on your hair because it will in interfere with certain things. Also, I want everyone to make sure that they know that they can elevate their beauty. You can rock your natural style. You can rock your, your baldness. You can rock your natural, unique you. So for everyone that invites us, invited here in this line that comes in, I wanna make sure that you feel like you can elevate what you naturally have. That you don't have to try to look like someone else. You are uniquely you and your own individual style. So rock that and we're gonna show you how to elevate that. So in our market and our competitors, I here located in Austin, I am on the second floor, so visibility is awesome. But I do have a few competitors around for every corner, you know, there's a beauty salon. But what's going to set us apart from the, the rest is I focus on educating people on hair loss, um, mastering the art of prostheses and um, hair extensions and weave, what to wear and not to wear. Um, also we are going to be uh, launching a concierge service. So I've also partnered with a lot of different business women. I'm sitting there at a round table. And what's missing in this? Um, a lot of time we're busy and we don't have time to get into the salon. And I find that. And I also notice I don't want to be in a salon all day long. I have a five-year goal to get from behind the chair. So we do have services where we would deliver your unit to you. Or if you have a break, we can't come in with our mobile unit, curl your hair if you have a really busy meeting, things like that. So to help you out so that you don't have to come into the salon and we can um, come to you. So that will be launching here in the next six months. 
Um, so the resilience of the hair industry, um, you of course, we all know that COVID affected a lot of us. Um, I was in the education field and then took a break from it. So in a way, COVID helped but hurt. It allowed me the opportunity to go back and be educated, renew my license and get back into this industry so that I can launch my brand. Um, but also everything shut down. But in that, in that shutdown, it allowed people to take a step back to reevaluate their business. So the growth of the hair industry is now booming. Um, so with the decline of uh, in sales and things in 2019, now here being record, uh, reported, sales have just grown now because salons are opening back up. Um, now the online, you have such an opportunity to now do classes online, Zoom. We do consultations via Zoom. So it, it made everything kind of work together and be more efficient. So that you're not spending so much time in front of the person. We can take care of the preliminary things via Zoom. Um, so here, um, there was a mass growth of the online uh, beauty industry. Um, of course, like I said, being reported in 2020, it grew 27.9% and it's steady growing because the salons are increasingly opening up. Um, so our model, our business model, we're participating with, uh, I mean, sorry, partners, partnering with different companies, stylists, um, groups. Um, getting ready to launch the social media campaign. I am working with, um, I, well, I've recreate, gotten a plan uh, from a market marketing specialist um, to condense everything and to be able to get it out there and launch. We'll be launching everything um, June 21st. Uh, so excited about that. So everything will be social media. Our website is clean, friendly, easy to use because Lord, if you like me, I don't want too much fussiness. I want to get straight to the point. We will also sell in store and online. Um, so we will be on Google, Yelp, um, Zoom, and the different experimental channels. Like I said, we will be doing a concierge service. So of course we're going to do marketing on the vehicles. Um, uh, word of mouth, client referral programs, and things like that. Um, our customer, uh, we serve the individuals in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but we're not limited to just that area. Uh, professional women who desire luxury products and services between the age of 40 to, um, to 55. Also, professional men seeking upscale grooming services because we do have King Lux. So we do service men as well. Um, a lot of people do not realize there is a large percentage of males that also do wear prostheses. It started booming about two years ago, but it's a large group of people who do um, that. I don't know what just happened. Okay. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what just happened. Okay. There's a seven minute mark. Okay. All right, so here I am the, the owner and uh, hair artist of this organization here. Um, the funding that I'm needing to um, roll and start this business is mapped out here. So I'm, I'm looking for investors grants, someone to hold my hand and show me how to, I'm a worker, I don't mind doing the work, but it, it, the key to starting and owning a successful business is to acquire the funding and investment that you need in order to grow. So I want to personally thank, as a salon owner, um, Brother Lux Salon Extension Bar, I would like to personally thank the Center for Transforming Lives, the staff, uh, the Level Up program. Being a part of this program has definitely changed my life. It was inspiring and very informative. I have gained the knowledge and, and foundation to plan and operate my business while connecting with key in, individuals and in, um, industry leaders. I am forever grateful for the patience, knowledge, and leadership everyone has shown me throughout this process and look forward to a long-lasting connection. Here's all my contact information that will definitely be launched here June 21st. Any questions? All right. Thank you, Marquette. And might I say you're looking mighty fabulous yourself. Um, so images, everything. So thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank for you. Your presentation tonight. I do have a question on social media world. And the question is, do you make custom installs? Yes, I make custom wigs, custom installs. Um, I'm certified in um, 
oh gosh, I'm doing so many certifications right now, but ventilating, um, but my passion, I love doing custom wigs uh, for patients uh, who suffer from hair loss from cancer or alopecia or anything like that. But yes, I do do custom. We measure the whole nine. Yes. Thank you. One more question. Is your salon only for patients? Or no. is it a traditional beauty salon? Traditional beauty salon, fully staffed. Um, it will be for stylists, and I am in the process of hiring for stylists, uh, lash tech. Um, also, mm, someone who does maybe a few massages here and there. I have a space for that, for someone to do a pop-in. But also, on the other side, I will have three barbers as well. Awesome. Well, I just so happen to know a massage therapist uh, by the name of Des, if you're interested. I know, I personally, <laughs> and she is awesome. Just yes. wanted to throw that out there. Any questions from Zoom Lamb before we, um, do you have wigs already pre-made and ready for sale? This is what I do every night. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. What hair texture? What do you need? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am and sirs. Yes. Um, I am working and working and working and working on inventory so that when I put it out there, I have enough stock to allow me time to work it. So I will have just your staple every day ready to wear. And then you have your customs. Um, so like, yeah, it's, it's it, wigs. It's a big, it's a big thing. It's not just you go in and buy Mm, you got to know your head size. You got to know what you're looking for. And ladies, we, we need, it's more hair. It's lots of hair out there. Let's rock what naturally our hair looks like. Get your natural hair. So yes, I do. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're Ms. welcome. Let's give Kat another round of applause. All right, Jennifer, are you ready? Yes. Hello. Hi. All right. Miss Jennifer Haney, the floor is yours. Sorry, I have been having technical difficulties. I um, did my presentation on Canva and it just quit responding for just a second. Um, can I have a minute? Um, so we do have to go to the next presenter. Um, but we'll circle back if we have time. If not, you could always email me the presentation and we'll make sure we get it okay. uh, posted. All right. Okay. Or did you want to go? Are you good to go or no? No, I, I'll, I'll mute myself. Sorry. All righty. So that brings us to the only gentleman as part of this program who's looking much Pretty dapper tonight, might I say. Um, this was um, our Mr. Accountability. He held, he held us accountable each night. We were um, tasked, all of the participants have to say their name and their business each time they um, took the mic. And he gave us a bell. So um, he is our accountability expert. So Mr. Michael Williams, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. And I bought my own timer, as you can see. <laughs> so I'm very uh, well prepared. Thank you so much. So I'm going to share my screen. Let's see. Is it doing it? Okay, what am I doing wrong? Green button share at the bottom. Okay. And that should open you up another set of options. Uh oh. So I'm hitting my share and I'm not seeing anything. It came up earlier. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh. 
it's not coming up. Do you want to email it to me and then I can pull it up? Yes. Uh, no worries. Just email it to me okay. um, and I can pull it up. While he is emailing it to me, I will go with some session announcements. Um, so as I mentioned, um, each session or to all of my participants that participate in our programs, we'd like to encourage them to also present for One Million Cups. One Million Cups happens every Wednesday morning at nine o'clock a.m. We are always looking for presenters. And the presentation that you just gave tonight, you're ready to go. You can give that exact same presentation in the company of One Million Cups. The reason I encourage One Million Cups, and Shay, you can speak to your experience with it. One Million Cups is just an open community call where people from all over the community listen to entrepreneurs um, and they give advice, they give connections, they provide resources. Um, and so it's a great opportunity to share your business story and also to um, increase your personal network. Um, as a part of the program, um, you would get priority over being a presenter for the Northeast chapter. And you can present all over the Metroplex. So there's a chapter in Fort Worth, there's a chapter in Dallas, there's a Fort Worth in Southern Dallas, there is a um, platform in Frisco, I believe. And it's literally once you apply, which is just like three questions, you can um, opt to present at any one of those. So I encourage you guys to um, take the opportunity to present at One Million Cups. Another thing I want to mention is um, reach out to some of the other organizations that service business owners. For example, uh, for example, uh, Center for Women Entrepreneurs through TWU. They have an awesome platform where they provide resources to um women in business. It's not just for women though, it is for men as well. So you are able to utilize their services as well. Um, as a participant to um, this program, um, you have access to, um, I believe there's a small um, fund as you complete your um, requirements. Oh, so you, you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes, yes. As you complete your program requirements, so congratulations on getting through the learning labs, but as you complete the program requirements, there is an opportunity for a business education grant for everyone up to $600. Now, just to reiterate the program requirements, because I've been very uh, gently reminding you all about everything throughout the process. I think I was gentle, uh, but making sure you get all four of your individual business coaching sessions done, your four financial coaching sessions, uh, making sure your business is operational in Tarrant County that is having your corporate filing, your EIN, your business bank account, and then your DUNS number to prepare for obtaining capital and establishing your business credit. And then also almost forgot having your lean business plan, your business can model canvas completed. Um, so those are the elements that you need to have completed in order to qualify to apply for the $600 grant. Uh, and you, it doesn't have to be done by today. Um, some of you were a little nervous that you didn't have everything done by today. You have a little time after uh, today <laughs> to get that completed. Uh, but we do want you to get everything completed um, as quickly as possible. We want you all to get that in. And um, once you submit your proof of everything, uh, we can go ahead and submit your request to get your business education grant. Um, and there is some new opportunities that is available only to our Arlington entrepreneurs. So Ms. So Ms. Lisa and Ms. Jennifer, I will be in touch with you all um, because there is a new grant opportunity uh, that is available to Arlington business owners. And you all, um, upon completing this program and getting some additional documentation in, will be eligible for that opportunity. So yes, everyone finish everything up and, and there is money um, to help you with your business education needs. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Ophelia. Michael, were we able to get it resolved? Uh, uh, it's my computer's running slow. So it's uh, if you can come back around, I'll be definitely ready. I'm, I apologize. Can I can I say something right quick, Michael? If you keep tapping the share, you're not giving your computer enough time to catch up with um, all of the requests you're making. So just hold on a second, and it'll give it time. Because if you keep pushing share and not share, it'll think that you don't want to share the presentation. It just okay. needs to catch up. Okay. All right. So. That brings us to our next presenter, which is Miss Lisa Thompson. You're on mute if you were speaking to us. I was talking, yes. I okay. <laughs> Um, I'm going to, let's see, try to do this, um, share my screen, pull up my presentation, uh, start it from the beginning. Can you all see it? Well, good evening, everyone. Let me start my timer. Michael said that. I'm going to do that now. Uh, I am Lisa Thompson with Step by Step Dance Studio, and I am excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited to present my presentation, my pitch day presentation to you. I am part of the Cohort 3 Level Up program. Okay, next slide. Um, Step by Step Dance Studio uh, was established in 1985. Um, I started at Grace United Methodist Church, uh, providing an outlet for uh, creativity and dance for some of the students uh, there in, in our community. Um, the parents wanted to have a teacher that um, cared about the students and just wanted to for me to teach uh, them dance. I did. I was working full time and started teaching and I've been going strong ever since. Um, business got so big that I had to uh, move to a storefront uh, facility uh, and I um, um, left the church after a couple of years and I've uh, been moving strong ever since with the exception of COVID, of course. Uh, my mission is to educate and train dancers to appreciate dance as an art form by developing in them high self-esteem. That's to me really important. Uh, discipline is also important as well as the self-confidence that they need in order to carry, to carry that into any activity or professional setting, setting that they have or want to be a part of. Our vision is dancing through life one step at a time. And we proudly offer small classes for individual attention, uh, creative classes for students. Um, our teachers are professionally trained, passionate, dedicated. Uh, we do offer extracurricular activities um, for dance uh, enhancement and support for kids who may be wanting to uh, participate in drill teams in high school. Uh, I'll love the recitals and performances that we have throughout the year. Uh, we have classes for boys, um, adults, and then I also cater to special needs. Uh, and this is something for everyone. Um, so what, what is it that we do? We do all of this. Uh, we have contemporary hip hop, classes for adults, we do recitals, self-esteem, um, creative movement, pre-ballet, uh, you name it, we do it. We wanna make sure that our kids and adults have the same experiences uh, uh, that um, they would get anywhere else or more. So some of the things that um, prompted me to do um, dance. Uh, first of all, it was uh, a need in our community. There was no African-American dance teachers uh, in Arlington teaching dance. Um, of course, there were some in Fort Worth and Dallas, but no, no one in Arlington. And uh, also uh, a place where people can come or students and, and adults can come that really want to work on some personal things. And we know that children have a high number, there are a high number of children that um, um, it's the Center for Disease Control report that uh, one in four children, 24% um, of children will be obese uh, or overweight. Uh, and that's the same for our teenagers as well. 
And then with your mental health issues that are taking place now, there's so many uh, Americans who are suffering from di diagnosable mental disorders. Uh, and a lot of us do just from not having uh, things that they can do uh, in life, like self-image is important, uh, uh, positive self-images. Uh, uh, and then with the um, obesity, you know, we know that dancing can be a way for children and adults to stay fit. Uh, and it helps with just not their physical, but their mental benefits as well. So uh, we like to make sure that we're able to provide something that is going to help. And that this is this is the reason why I continue to offer Step by Step Dance Studio. So the why, again, um, not only what I just shared with you as far as the stats are concerned, um, but because there are many dance studios, are many schools available, but not many of them are focused on the individual child or adult. Um, I don't have large classes. I try to have small enough classes where we can focus individually. Uh, we provide um, so many more things that I think are more beneficial uh, for our kids. Uh, my goal is to uh, develop in all who come through the programs, high, again, high self-esteem, discipline, and self-confidence. Confidence. Uh, and I think my market niche is uh, children and adults here in Arlington and Tarrant County who are interested in dance uh, that taught by someone who looks like them. I get a number of people who call and say, um, you know, I found you on, on um, the your social media, or I found you on the website. Uh, I'd like to play this video, if you can hear it. Hi, my name is Addison Warren, and I am 11 years old. I have been dancing with Step by Step for nine years. I think Step by Step is the place for me because you always feel loved and cared for. At Step by Step, I do ballet, tap, jazz, tumbling, and I am a part of the Step by Step elite team. I am so grateful that I get to come and dance with Step by Step. And so that's just one of the um, testimonies that I have uh, from some of the students. Um, so why or how um, do I um, um, work or provide uh, dances? Well, we do it one step at a time. Um, we are physically located in um, by Chili's off of Collins and I-30 Copeland Road. Um, we, we use Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn. Um, we, I'm sorry, Instagram, not LinkedIn, Instagram. Uh, marketing, uh, I um, have a tire t-shirts and things that we sell for parents and the kids to, to feel a community uh, feel with. Um, I have advertisements, social media performances, word of mouth. Um, we, our checklist uh, involves as far as a parent or someone coming in looking for how to get involved. There are a number of ways and a number of things that we, we do. We first have an application, so we have to have um, um, permission, you know, from parents if, if a child is under the age of 18. Uh, I have a brochure that people can take with them. Um, we have a, a tuition and schedule. We, Registration fees. Uh, I do offer several scholarships um, because there are a number of kids in our community that, that would, don't have the means to uh, participate in dance. So I try to provide uh, scholarships for them. Uh, handbook, uh, we do group me texts and uh, emails to the parents so that they know what's going on. My staff are professionally trained. I actually have a degree in dance. And that's my seven minutes. So I'm gonna move on. Um, these are some of the performances, uh, excuse me, some of the, um, um, let me go back, I'm sorry. These are some of the things that we do in the community. Uh, and what I've gained from the Level Up Small Business Program is I have, um, redefine my mission and vision statement. I, I have a vision plan for the next five years. Uh, pretty much everything that we've, uh, learned, I have learned from, and I am using to the fullest. Uh, it's very important to me. Uh, and I'm so honored to have been part of this program. I was able to develop my uh, vision plan on what I'm going to be doing next. And so uh, by fall of 2023, I would really like to have a full-time operation uh, and providing community programming that's going to provide access to dancers, choreographers and art enthusiasts. And by 2026, I really would like to have a nonprofit established. Um, 
I ask that you consider step-by-step -step if you have an opportunity to help us with scholarships. There are a number of students in our community who uh, don't have, as I mentioned before, the means to uh, provide, uh, be provided for. Um, so it would be greatly needed. And um, uh, I think that was my last slide. In conclusion, I just wanna thank everyone for Allow me again to be a part of this presentation. Um, and everyone, please go forth and enjoy dance. And that concludes my, my presentation. Are there any um, questions for me? So thank you, Miss Lisa, so much for your presentation. Um, one of the comments on the social feed says, major congratulations to you for your resilience and being operational since 1985. Thank you. So major congratulations there. I don't see any questions at the moment, but if you guys do have questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. Uh, Mr. Michael, we are going to give you one more go. I do have your presentation, so hopefully I don't have technical difficulties. But we are going to, can you all see his presentation? All right, Mr. Yes, Michael. Yes. The floor is yours. Okay. And how do I make it? Is it full screen uh, presentation? Can you see it? Like, are you able to? Yes. Um, I'm going to give you remote control over it. So you should get a pop up on your screen. Okay. Do you see it? Yeah. So accept it and then you can control the slide. Okay. Um, so I don't see where I, it where I make it in presentation. Uh, it's in presentation mode from my end, from this end. Oh, okay. Let me see. So you would just advance the slide. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me just test it. So it's not a long, I'm not, uh, it's not moving around for me. So let's try it this way. Mm -hmm. Do you see it on your end? It's loading from this end. No, I don't see it on my end yet. All right, well, how about you start talking through them and I will advance them for you. Okay. I'm gonna do stop share real quick, then I'll reshare it. And I'll advance it for you. Okay. So do you see the next one we're on mission right now? Yes. All so right. I can go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name is uh, Michael Williams. I'm with uh, Before and After Personal Training. So my mission is to make a difference by enhancing the quality of life in the fitness environment by promoting by promoting healthy lifestyle lifestyle changes for the general and special population. So just to give you a little bit about myself, I am a certified personal trainer. And uh, my, plan, my plan is to foster a, a, na a natural culture that supports physical activity lifestyles. Its ultimate purpose is to improve health, prevent disease and disabilities, and enhance the quality of life. Thousands of deaths occur each year, uh, occur each year due to physical inactivity and sedentary lifestyles. So my purpose is to encourage people to get out and exercise. And when you're not physically active, you are more at risk for heart disease, stroke diseases. Uh, so we're going back down here. Heart disease, obesity, cancer, and stroke and high blood pressure. By helping more Americans to be physically active, I will not only save lives and protect citizens from disease, I can also reduce, reduce health disparities and, and make, it, make, it, make the US a more physically fit environment. 
approximately 25% of US adults are not active at all. Physical inactivity is more among is more common among women than men because there are a lot of stay-home mothers, uh, single mothers who are, are just, you know, taking care of the kids. So the uh, access for them to become physically active is kind of a very, it's a barrier for them. So it's my job to make it more accessible than by me being a mobile uh, personal trainer. As of 2018, the prevalence of sedentary lifestyle was the highest among African American adults, with a total of almost 32%. So when I first got started, I realized that if I don't start doing something now as I get older, it's going to be very difficult for me to try to engage in some type of physical activity. Many Americans live in communities that are not designed for physical activity meaning that there are not enough parks, uh, there's not enough access to, to gyms, meaning location. Being physically active is one of the most important lifestyle behaviors we can engage in to maintain our physical and mental health. Next slide, please. So this is, this is my, my uh, business model. Before and after personal training, the, my before principle, so before work, before stress, before rest, and others. So you can do any type of exercise before work. It will actually, what it'll do is give you more endorphins. You'll be able to focus more. You'll be able to be more energetic, and you'll be able to communicate well with your, uh, your colleagues. Stress. You can also eliminate a lot of stress if you if you exercise and if you exercise before you go to sleep, you'll have a better night's rest. And if you put yourself in front of others, like I got to go to the gym, I got to take care of myself first before I do anything else, because if I'm not healthy, what am I? What good am I to you? OK, so my previous experience, my knowledge and my ability to communicate with people to build a rapport is my competitive edge because I have a lot of experience as a instructor, uh, as a fitness instructor. I have a lot of knowledge. I've attended uh, several different colleges on health and wellness. And I'm, with this, in, what this entails with me finding my niche, um, being part of the cohort has really drilled my niche in, into me because it in the beginning, I had a questionable about what my niche was. So I really realized what my niche was. So my coaching ability able to work with seniors, people with disabilities, as well as kids. My work ethic and my passion and, and developing contracts will definitely bring uh, more uh, clients to me. My plan, of, my plan of attack is to generate leads, to qualify those leads, to, to do those uh, qualified leads have the need for personal training. Yeah, I might find that someone may not just want to have a personal trainer, okay? Make proposals, uh, complete the sale, to upsell, to offer group training, to offer one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, to go inside the schools and to go in, Side parks and recs and deliver to deliver the goods, meaning delivering good quality training, make sure that I'm communicating well to the client's needs and asking for referrals. Um, and with that, this is my call to action. So this is me before when I turned <laughs> when I turned 46, I looked at that uh, what I call a Buddha belly. I said, no, something's got to change here. And so I really stepped up my game. So I, I will promote strategies that will make it safer and easier to get active, like providing access to community facilities and programs that will help people get more physically active. Strategies to promote physical activity at home, at school, and at child care centers can also increase activity in children and adolescents. Next slide. So on my 50th birthday, I celebrated and I, I uh, 
I really encourage people as you get older, you get wiser so we can make a change. I devoted over 25 years of my life to dance and physical fitness where I instilled the importance of movement and body mechanics in others whom also have a love of physical dance, physical activity and desire to live a healthy lifestyle. I believe that my long held passion for fitness, my love for working with people and my ability to persevere will allow me to make a difference in the lives of others. Do I have your support? Next slide. Uh, I want a special thanks to the Center for Transforming Lives, the cohort CEOs, uh, Ms. McClure, Colette, Ms. Darlisa, and Ms. Gibson. Next one. And questions and answers. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Michael, for that awesome presentation. And um, it's pretty cool, you know, that you have that physical fitness thing. We only always see your head, so we never really get to see, you know, that um, buffness there. So, hey, like, check you out. And that was really funny. You said about the Buddha belly. Um, <laughs> I think I have a Buddha belly, so I probably need to get some um, uh work out in there going. Um, questions for Mr. Michael. Um, if there are no Zoom land questions, I do have a question on social media. And the question is, do you train children or is it for adults? Definitely children. Okay, so your program is for children? As well, yes. Oh, okay, so it is for both. So he does both. So if you have any Buddha belly children, then we can take them to <laughs> Michael. Um, that is cool. So question is, how far do you travel? Uh, 50 mile radius. So Dallas. 50 mile Dallas, radius. Yeah. Okay. Um, that, is a, that is pretty extensive. So that's pretty awesome. Another question is, do you do classes or is it only one-to-one? -one. It's a uh, one one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Now, if you have a facility and you want me to do a class, yes, but typically one-on-one. -on -one. Typically one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Well, thank you all so much for your time and all of your amazing presentations tonight. You guys did an amazing job. Um, I am so excited to um, kind of, I don't want to say release you because all of you guys are doing amazing things also are already. Um, but this has been an exciting six weeks for me. Um, I was kind of, you know, jaded because we typically do it eight weeks, but you guys got in in that six weeks and you rocked it. Um, I wish you guys nothing but the best of your success. I have learned, I've heard, I have um, been a part of your journey and I am really excited to see where this goes. I encourage you guys to um, stay connected as part of your uh, participation in the uh, cohort. You will receive access once we get our space back open and running. Um, you will receive access to the center, North Texas. Um, to be our guest. Um, so you can come there, you can work if you need um, a physical address, whatever the case may be, you are happy, we are more than welcome to accommodate that for you. So um, want to say again, special thanks to Adrian Bolden for being our speaker for tonight. I know we went over on our time, but we are very grateful to have all of you guys. So if everyone could get everyone an amazing a round of applause, our Facebook, our LinkedIn, our YouTube, um, you guys have followers. This will be um, posted for repurposing. So I would encourage you guys, take this video, edit it, pull out your own personal presentation and show that. Put that on your websites, put that on you know, your personal marketing, because guess what? It's a stepping stone. And I can't wait to look back at these videos 
when you guys blossom and blow up and say, check them out. Here's where they were and here's where they're headed. So I thank you guys so much for your time. Ocelia, any closing thoughts from Center for Transforming Lives? I just want to say uh, congrats to everyone on completing the labs. And we are so proud of you. I'm so excited to see where your businesses were uh, when we started and when I interviewed everyone to where we are tonight, <laughs> where we are today. So um, just, just proud of you all and keep moving forward. All right, that being said, guys, well wishes, best of blessings to you and your businesses. And I look forward to communicating with you guys in the near future. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a great rest of your night. Uh, good luck, everybody. And good luck. Good luck and blessings, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. I'll be in touch. Okay. <laughs>